Over 760,000 years ago, a volcanic eruption created the Long Valley Caldera. The geothermal features we see in the area today have been around for hundreds and thousands of years. Early on, Native Americans indigenous to this area used mud in the mud pots and water from the hot creeks in rituals and ceremonial activities. Then, on their search for land, fortune, and gold in the Wild West, cowboys relaxed and enjoyed the hot springs, thought to have medicinal qualities. In the early 1900s, Casa Diablo continued to gain popularity as a tourist attraction and resort, where people would take a soak after a long day of fishing and recreation. Since then, geothermal has served the area in a number of different ways. Early exploration drilling for electricity production in the Casa Diablo area began in the 1950s. About a decade later, Magma Power Company drilled more geothermal exploration wells. While they found a good heat source and geothermal brine present, the temperature was lower than most that had been discovered at the time, and the technology to develop the resource did not exist. In the 1970s, new geothermal systems were available that could use the geothermal fluid at Casa Diablo and then began the development of what is now known as the Mammoth Pacific Geothermal Power Plant Complex. The process is a binary process and what that means is that we're taking uh, two fluids. Binary, the first fluid is water heated by the earth that we pump up through the power plant we just take heat out of that water and put that water back down into the geothermal reservoir. On the other side, the binary side, the second fluid is a motive fluid internal to the process that runs like a refrigerant cycle in reverse where that heat vaporizes this fluid, it runs a turbine or series of turbines, gets cooled back down through a set of air condensers and pumped back through as the cycle continues. The project has been known from the beginning as Mammoth Pacific, but it has had a few different owners. Ormat acquired it over a decade ago and has worked hard to maximize its potential. Ormat is a publicly traded company headquartered in Reno, Nevada. A world leader in the geothermal power plant sector, Ormat is a vertically integrated company specializing in the development of state-of-the-art, environmentally sound power solutions. Hi, I'm John Bernardi. I'm the plant manager of Ormat's Mammoth Pacific Power Plant. We operate a geothermal power plant outside of Mammoth Lakes, California at the Casa Diablo area. It's because of the low visual impact, uh, the low noise impact of the facility, uh, you really have to look and know what you're looking for to find it. They're actually a wonderful neighbor. They have uh, been here for approximately 30 years. So the plant is a pretty good size. But um, the reality is very few people that, um, that live here, uh, and certainly people that come to visit, uh, are not really sure that it's even there. Here at Mammoth Pacific, you fit right in. You know, everybody's a family here. We work with all the other departments. Um, this, is just, this is a good place to work. This is part of the community. I grew up in Bishop. Um, and I wanted to get into the utility industry because it's a very good, reliable, um, consistent career to get into. You know, everybody's always going to need electricity, so. Uh, I enjoy working for Mammoth Pacific because it's a stimulating environment and uh, I enjoy the community. I enjoy the recreational activities up here. I've had family here for a while, so um, it's just, it's a good place to live. My name is Cheryl Eanes. I've worked for Mammoth Pacific for eight and a half years. I started as HR and admin, and I now do the regulatory compliance. I think the best thing I ever did was apply here at Mammoth Pacific back in 2006. Ormat is a great company uh, that owns Mammoth Pacific. We work with the entities BLM, Sea Dogger, Forest Service, Great Basin, to ensure regulatory compliance and uh, safety is extremely important to Mammoth Pacific. We've got an excellent record. We use local contractors for 
different projects at the facility. Uh, those projects range from clearing snow to our well pads to crane services provided by Brent Allen for any major lifting work we have. I think it's amazing. Geothermal uh, power production here in Mono County is a great program. Uh, it's, it's good to see it's renewable energy that we can um, utilize and enjoy the benefits of and it seems to have very low um, impact to the environment around us. The Mammoth Pacific is a great neighbor here in Mono County. They spread a, a fair amount of work around the local community. They use local vendors. They are very safety conscious and they're, they seem to be very environmentally friendly. Pavement work, excavation, grading, fences. I mean, I can go on and on. These are all local businesses that we use. Mammoth Pacific has been a fantastic client of ours over the years. We've benefited and I'm sure all the other vendors that, that uh, we've worked with that are in the town uh, over the years, we, we know that they have worked with everybody local that they can. They've really kept us in business during the deep recession and um, we look forward to working with them. Mammoth Pacific provides green jobs and renewable energy to Mono County. We provide stable employment for 25 employees at Mammoth Pacific and tax revenues independent of the national economy. We have a total payroll of approximately $2.2 million. We provide property tax contributions to Mono County. Mammoth Pacific pays royalties to the BLM that allows us to operate on public lands. In 2013, we paid in excess of $350,000. 40% of that comes directly back to the county for their use. Economic benefits have been continuous since we started operation in 1984. We're here, we're glad we're here, and we want to keep producing power here.